Hi everyone, in this video I will introduce stochastic volatility models which assume that the asset price but also its variance follow stochastic processes. Such models are used in finance to simulate the underlying asset price and to value options. In the famous Black-Scholes model, the asset price follows a geometric Brownian motion and the log return follows a Gaussian distribution. But this is not true in practice, historical returns are not normally distributed in general, they have fatter tails. If we look, for example, at the daily returns of the S&P from 1950 to 2022, the historical probability to have a daily return below minus 3% will be close to 0.7%, while we would have estimated it at 0.1% with a Gaussian distribution, so a factor 7 between the two. In the Black-Scholes model, the volatility is assumed to be constant. But this is not true in practice. Volatility is implied by option prices with different strikes or time to maturity are different. In practice, the volatility changes with time and we tend to observe higher volatilities in periods of market stress when stock returns are more negative. So all of this motivates to assume that not only the asset price is stochastic but its variance as well. We assume that the asset price S follows a process quite similar to the geometric Brownian motion in the Black-Scholes model, but now we assume as well that its variance nu follows a stochastic process which has the following general expression. Mu is a drift of the asset price. The choice of the two functions, alpha and beta, will determine how the volatility behaves. If we assume that both alpha and beta are equal to zero, then the variance is no more stochastic, it is constant, equal to its initial variance nu0, we are back in the Black-Scholes framework. Nu0 controls the volatility level. Xi is the volatility of volatility or vol of vol. A higher vol of vol increases the probability to have extreme movements on both sides. It increases the tail risk of the return distribution, its kurtosis. This translates into higher risk and higher prices for out-of-the-money options and an increase of the implied volatility on the wings creating a volatility smile. Rho is the correlation between the two Brownian motions. It measures the correlation between the asset return and the change of the variance. It controls the spot vol correlation. A negative correlation would mean that negative returns tends to come with higher volatility. This is typically what we observe on the stock market with higher volatility in crisis periods. This parameter controls the asymmetry of the return distribution, its skewness. A negative spot vol correlation will typically increase the probability to have very negative returns and reduce the probability to have very positive ones. This translates into higher risk, higher price, and so higher implied volatility for out-of-the-money put options on the left side, and lower risk, lower price, and so lower implied volatility for out-of-the-money call options on the right side. The implied volatility is said to have a negative skew in this case, with an asymmetric curve, and higher implied volatility for low strike prices on the left compared to high strike prices on the right. The Heston model is one of the most famous stochastic volatility models. It assumes that the variance follows a mean reverting process, theta being the long-term mean of the variance and kappa controlling the speed of reversion. Heston is a special case of the general stochastic volatility model seen before, with alpha equal to kappa times theta minus nu and beta equal to 1. The Heston model has been quickly popular as it leads to an explicit analytic formula through an integral for the pricing of European call and put options. Saber for stochastic alpha beta rho is another popular stochastic volatility model. The model was developed by Hagan to model the dynamic of forward rates. It has a different form compared to the general expression seen before, but it still has the three parameters controlling the shape of the volatility curve. 
The volatility level is controlled by the initial variance alpha zero in this case. The tail risk and the smile is controlled via the volatility of volatility nu, while the asymmetry and the skewness is controlled with the correlation parameter. Beta tends to control as well the volatility skew and it is often fixed at 0.5 in practice. There is no closed form solution for the pricing of vanilla options under Saber model, except in the special cases of beta equals zero or one, but we get good asymptotic estimations and an expression of the black shores implied volatility as a function of Saber parameters. It allows to fit relatively well the observed volatilities implied from option prices for a given maturity with few parameters, and it can be useful to interpolate or extrapolate it. Thank you for your time.